Oh, hey out there. It is uh, Saturday and I've been busy on the Bronco finally that we've gotten some some sunshine. Yeah. This is a lot of work. And uh Hey, this is all new to me. I'm going to make it work one way or another. Uh, I would like to take it to a shop and just say do it, but I don't have money for that. I still got about another month before I go back to work, and so I just... This has cost me enough right here. I spent enough money on stuff. So, uh, I'm just going to do the low budget way, do it yourself. Learn as you go along. You know, I've seen a lot of videos on body work and stuff. And I'm, oh, man, that's cool. Nice job. Now, can I do something like that? Well, not quite. But I'm going to make it work anyway. So this is not a do-it-yourself uh, or how-to video. This could be a how-not-to video, but we'll see what the end results are. Should be the same. I hope. Cross my fingers. Hopefully everything works the way it's supposed to. Or even close. You know, this is not like a... Uh, vintage car or restore uh, what do you call that you know this is not Jay's Leno's garage you know where he's got where he's got tons of money to just do whatever you know custom shit uh, be nice yeah would be nice in fact I don't think I've ever seen Jay Leno actually work on a car before does he know how to turn a wrench uh yeah so we're learning as we go along here I'll screw up along the way and uh We'll do better the next time, right? But, um, cut the top off, um, Tuesday, I think it was. There's all my figuring right here. I got a short little video on that. It wasn't nothing interesting other than trying to figure out some reference points to cut. Here's a piece of the, the new top. As you can see, I've got it mounted right now. So what I got it right now, I got the new top marked up there strapped up in place with some screws and some rivets and double check in my dimensions before I do anything before I do any welding hopefully my welder works I went to the welding supply I got a new liner for the cable there uh, I got a roll of wire I got some argon co2 gas for it see how long see how that's gonna work out all right, I know there's a lot of you guys out there who's going to say, that's not the way to do it. Oh, man, you don't know what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so, look at the mountains. So I'd rather be out there. See the mountains up through the trees over there? Nice day, and I'm stuck here doing this. So don't laugh. Well, go ahead, have a good laugh. But this is, uh, this is the Frankenstein part of this. Cutting this with the with a skill saw took me two blades. By the time I ripped down to cut the old piece off, that blade was gone. And I assume that's because this is two two panels. You got the outside and the inside, and it flops around while you're cutting it. And so I kind of got it straight. But the other one, this panel over here, was even harder to cut because it's loose flopping around nothing else. but I figure you know what I'm just gonna piece that back together and that'll give me some room to to adjust that'll I can adjust my dimensions on here in and out a little bit I'll just fill it in so right now I got a, some steel underneath there and I got it bolted together and riveted and then I'll just fill this in. I'll tack everything together, pull the screws out, grind the rivets off, finish my weld. It's not going to weld up completely. We're going to make it work though. Nothing a little Bondo magic won't fix. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's the plan anyway. We'll see how it works. What I want to do today, right now, is weld this up. To here so I can put the top back on well that up on the inside here 
I've got another piece of steel back here, a 16 piece of 16 gauge steel. And I've got it riveted. I put a little too many rivets on there and screwed. And then I'll, I'll tack all this up. I'm going to do some plug welds here and up here. Take the screws out, grind it flat. This is going to be covered by the plastic uh, trim in here anyway, so it makes no difference. About as solid as it was. Then we'll have to do some filling around the sides here. This gap here is kind of tough. Fits up pretty good. Outside I did the same thing. I mean, that's, I think as good as it's going to get. I'm going to tap it here and there. Got another piece of steel in here. Got some steel on the side here and on the inside. That's as good as I can get it. I mean, the dimensions I was shooting for was between this center hole here on the cab mount or on the fiberglass top to this piece. Hopefully that's correct because this one was the same dimension here. These little screw holes and everything lined up. Where was it? Oh, there was a screw hole right here for the trim that goes inside. But We shall see, right? Now right here, I do want to put a little piece of filler metal in there. But then I'm going to have to make something though. But first I'm going to get this all tacked in. That's at least my concern. Uh, see I got metal in here. And I got some strips in there. I'm just going to tack everything up. Kind of lines up, right? I'm going to put another strip on the inside here, across the bottom. That I'm just going to leave in, put a piece, another piece of steel across there, screw it or rivet it to there, just to hold that up, because a headliner is going to cover that anyway. According to my calculations, the door don't quite fit right now because it's sagging. I really don't have it bolted up proper yet. This is kind of worrying me right here. This I think is pushed in. So right here, from here, I think it needs to be pushed out. But I don't want to bang on this yet until I tie these pieces together. So this is going to take some filling right here with the welder. This complicated, complicated steel stuff. You know? Hopefully my welder works. I, I don't know. I haven't used it in a while, and last time it wasn't working. And guys tell me, ah, oh, replace the liner, the cable liner, and put some new wire in it. Use some. Uh, I'm going to use. Uh, I got to use uh, the CO2 gas for this one. So I got to change my polarities and stuff. Take this wire out. Reset this little thingy here. And all that takes time. It's already 11:26. I've. Uh, yeah, you know, it's Saturday. Got up about nine, had a buy coffee before you know it's ten o'clock. Gotta roll all this stuff out here. Kinda blows. Well, wish me luck. All right, guys, I'm working on this thing. I'm splicing it back together. I got some strapping material. I think that's what, 16 gauge? Screwed it into place, then tack welded it. I just finished tack welding everything right now. Only burned through once. Kind of blows, but yeah, that's that. It's gonna get a uh, headliner, cover that up. Good to go. This is all tacked together. Same thing, I, I got a 16 gauge metal stri strap in there. Holding everything together. It's all tacked up. Well, hey out there guys. Another beautiful day here in Southern California. This morning I was just taking it easy. Went out for a hike and uh, 
oh, before I got busy here because uh, it is a nice day it's sunny it's uh, yeah it's about 80 degrees out I had to put some kind of cover on here because I want to start uh, filling this in with some body filler and it was just like way too hot so now it's a decent temperature I just gave it a first coat of uh, this stuff right here I'm using the heavy-duty stuff metal reinforced filler high strength so I'm just about ready to give it a quick uh, sanding you know knock it down and then go over it a little more one more time probably I see a couple of low spots in there, but nothing. This isn't, uh, you know, this isn't like a, a classic car or a collector car. Or, this isn't Jay Leno's garage, you know. This is a do-it-yourself and learn as you go. I spent about an hour yesterday watching a whole series of videos on YouTube on body fillers and mixing and, uh, you know, body fender work and very interesting. A lot more to it than just throwing bondo on them. so I'm trying to do it right but you know like the guy says it takes experience you can read all the books you want and watch all the videos but until you do it you know that's when it all comes together and starts making sense so this doesn't have to be perfect this is on top of the vehicle you're not gonna see it but I'm gonna I am gonna try to get it nice you know that's where I'm at once I get that done I want to concentrate on this piece here so I don't have to get back up on here because I want to put the top back on probably tomorrow. I need to primer this up here good and primer that and that down there so because it's going to get covered. That's it. It's a good night. I had to weld this this uh, thing up here. Um, there's a nut in there but it's welded in. See the little tack welds? This one here has got a little clip. This one over here was loose in there. The welds had broken and it was cracked. It had cracks all around, all around it. So I kind of tacked it back together, ground it down, tacked it back in. It is in there now, solid. It's holding my umbrella up. Hopefully that takes care of it for now. It had some little cracks over here. I filled in because if I don't, water's going to get in there and that's no good. So we just filled that in. I was going to weld it, but I don't want to get too crazy with the welder. Did the same thing on this side. Use some heavy duty body filler in there. Because it did have a little crack on this side too. I don't know why, but that's where I'm at. I'm going to try and concentrate just on this piece here so I can get the top back on because I'm kind of limited on, on help on getting the top on you know when helps around I gotta hey give me a hand real quick okay bananas 